I saw more of Blair from the Facts of Life last night. That woman, what's Lisa Welchel? I don't think anybody's ever aged as gracefully as her. It's unbelievable. I went and looked up her. Of course, I knew what she looked like during the show, but I yeah. went and looked up now. That is amazing. Every, she looks like she's aged maybe five to ten years, and the show has been off the air for 30 years. You know, it's unreal how good she That's what everybody said online and on Twitter. Dave's a follower now. He follows her just as of mm. yesterday. I mean, the other old cast members of The Facts of Life came out, and they look age-appropriate. You know, that Natalie had aged 35 years, but not Blair. Blair Shocked. looked fantastic. I just wanted to get my two cents in there about her. But uh, yesterday, I was uh, after a long, hard-fought show. I wanted a second pack of M and M's, so I went down to the break room floor right after this program ended and put in the credit card for the M and M's. Well, as often happens, th they got stuck, and so I had to, you know, take the machine and bounce it back and forth, and it made a heck of a racket. Now, normally, I do that before the show starts, so there's almost nobody in the building to hear it. But this time, Craig, who works down there, <laughs> and this is the second time he's caught me doing it. <laughs> Craig, who works down on that floor, came rushing in. Good golly, what's going on? Because I was, he literally said, good golly. And I mean, it. Well, I had to bang the thing. I thought, you know how you hear about six people every year have a die because a vending yeah. machine comes over yeah. on top of them. I really thought that was going to happen. Oh, really? Because I mean, I was shaking it for all it was worth. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Did you have to do it again this morning? Yeah. I did. That's a, that yeah. was you. That was me. You heard it. I you thought it. they were unloading a truck outside <laughs> for the restaurant next to us. Yes. I had to do it I again. I could hear it so, it's so loud. And multiple doors are closed yes. and one floor between us. Yes. You had heard it yesterday, too, but you had to leave early for your eye doctor. Oh my God. That sound, it is incredibly loud because the, the vending machine weighs a lot. And I bang it back and forth yeah. on these small little legs. I'm afraid a leg's going to break and it's going to come over on top of it. Yeah. That yeah, really could I mean, I've never heard anything quite like it. You were angry. I wanted those M&Ms. I'm without my partner here. This is this is my guy. Sad. <laughs> you two so <laughs> need each other that so dependent. much. <laughs> Sad. I had to fill that void. And as you know, this month, I'm allowing myself treats. Yes. Yes. So Craig came You're in. You're saying yes to life. I'm sa finally, I'm saying yes to life. And so I bang that thing back and forth, and Craig said, good golly, you don't have to shake it like that. And I said, let me tell you something, Craig. I want these. M&Ms are the worst ones to buy. They get caught on the hook more than any other Why don't you one. go look at your old calendar and tell me what day it is? <laughs> Beat it, Craig. <laughs> right. It was a, an, an, an hour later, I was going to the bathroom, and the door was locked. And so I stepped back to go to a different one. And right as I stepped back, the door opened. And there was Craig. And we're face to face. And so I just like, oh, after we'd already had one encounter. You're going to beat me down again? Yeah. You're going to come at me now? Very, very <laughs> awkward time. You want it, me to shake the toilet bowl? <laughs> <laughs> very, so very weird. awkward time between Craig and myself. You know, actually, I had three run ins with him before the candy incident. He came in here and said, I have some paperwork for Chris Tim. And I was like, well, thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he hears us. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. He said, I've got a few things for Chris Tim. Yeah. And I said, geez, Craig. He's but, never mentioned this show once. Not one time. Doesn't care one thing. No. Does not care one thing well, about. There, there's hmm. a, uh, I, I don't know the numbers. I don't know the raw numbers in front of us. But um, there's a, there is a significant portion of people who work in the building mm -hmm. with us who don't know what, A, we do, and B, never have heard the yeah. program. <laughs> or which ones we are. Don't even know what we do. No. And they're in the build. Talk about a slap, you know, yeah. including Craig. Craig yeah. just said, I, I, I don't know, I need something for Chris Deb. And I was like, well, dude, he's obviously out. He's not, you know, if you'd listened even one second today, you'd know he's not <laughs> no. here. I felt, so then later, a few minutes later, when I was banging on that candy machine, he was already under my skin, and then we went at it again on candy machine. Mm. There's a uh, working... Hey, can I, oh, can yes. I interrupt for just a sec? Well, sure. About the, uh, the the Facts of Life thing. I don't know if... Have you watched the shows yet? Not yet. I do have them recorded. I didn't know this until this morning, because I didn't watch, didn't DVR. Mm -hmm. But apparently, according to Twitter, the commercials were set in the time period. They were specially made. Yes for that time period it's pretty cool that interests me way more than those shows that 
keeps people watching through the commercials. That, see, I've DVR'd it. I would have loved that. Now I wish I'd seen it. I, I have it recorded and normally would forward through the commercials. Yeah, but this course. time I'll watch it. I saw one of them had uh, Alfonso Ribeiro from um, Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. And he was doing an ad, yes, that was like from the 80s. And it, I it, love that. So they did, if you missed that, it was a live version of the Facts of Life and Different Strokes. And mostly what people are talking about is the commercials and Lisa Welch are looking so good. My wife watched them and she said Facts of Life was better than Different Strokes. She also had a question about Different Strokes. Why do they spell it? You know, um, this was my theory and she said it was the dumbest theory she had ever heard. Uh, the, the show Different Strokes... When it comes up on the screen, the words, as the show's coming on, it different is spelled incorrectly. They, it's D-I-F-F apostrophe R-E-N-T. Not different, mm-hmm. but different. And uh, It's not different. <laughs> correct. It's not different. It's not different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's different strokes. Different strokes. But I've always just, I mean, when you say different, you, that's what you say. Yeah. You don't put, they don't pronounce the E. So she said, why do you think they spelled it incorrectly instead of just spelling the word different? And I said it was because of font size that they wanted to just put the... uh... No, in that's the, definitely not it. Like the TV Guide grid? <laughs> yes, I said. At the time, know, which was a magazine that was popular back then? Yes, I said because of font sizing, <laughs> they wanted not to use up all that space that the E would take, but just a quick little apostrophe. Yeah, I'm going to hmm. say if there's one reason... <laughs> For it, it's not that. <laughs> they said that it was. Just that made no sense whatsoever. And I said, but we had. Pa- <laughs> it was on the screen. She had paused it on the screen. Did you take an edible? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> That's a standard gummy. I, I had to shake the machine. <laughs> I told her the screens were different. Then it was a. It was a box. It was a mm-hmm. square instead of a rectangle different wouldn't fit on the screen and they had you know they couldn't font it up and down like they can today and she said you're out of your mind that's the dumbest thing so i googled it but i never could find the answer in fact the answer on google was uh they had to put an apostrophe because there's no e i was like well i know that but you know (laughs) okay i get it i wanted to know why in fact biggie when we interview todd bridges that's who. I, that's what I want to ask uh, that question to. Now that's an interview I can get. Todd Bridges, hmm. who played Willis on Different Strokes, that would be my lead question on what. What's up with the apostrophe? Why the apostrophe instead of? Let me spelling. be Todd Bridges. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> I think you're right, and nobody else is left from that show, unfortunately. <laughs> it was. I just assumed it was to make it seem quote street. That's what my wife said. She's like that was that was to make it seem because time. you got two yeah. kids from the street moving in with this rich family mm-hmm. and different, but it really is pronounced the exact same way. You know, it, it, yeah, that's it was to seem street, and that's that's exactly her theory on it. I said no, sir. Font size, Mm-mm. font mm-hmm. size is the thing for me, and I think she may be right. Uh, this was about Chris Dem is working from home has been the last two days. Now there is a hack that's being talked about on TikTok. Somebody has invented something. I can't really wrap my mind right. It's called a mouse mover to make your computer look busy. It's a small device placed under a computer mouse to keep the cursor active so that if the boss can watch in on, you know how here, some of our uh, folks at work here can look in from other places to see if you're working. And um, this mouse mover, if you want to get up and go away from your desk for an hour or whatever or do something else in the house, the mouse mover makes it look like Work is being done on the computer when it's really not. I, it makes sense yeah. for a lot of people working at home, mm-hmm. you know, because if you're not working at home, you think, well, man, you just must sit around all day. But yeah. you know, there's ways people watch you and seeing how active your computer is makes a lot of sense. There's something called bossware, which is a spyware for bosses. And some companies make employees make sure they're sitting at their computer working and can look in at any time on bossware. So the, Employees have struck back. This is the woman who invented it talking about it. If you work from home and you carry your laptop around with you all over the house because you are so paranoid that the 30 minutes you spend away from your desk during lunch, your computer will go to away and then you will be fired because no one will think you're doing any work. I have something to recommend. It's called a mouse mover and it moves your mouse while you're away. So you can go to the bathroom free from paranoia. And that's exactly what she's done. She's made this and she went on to TikTok to talk about it. Now apparently a lot of people are using it. 
It sounds like some sort of setting that's built into the computer where if it's inactive, you know how like your screen will go blank. Yes. That sounds like what it's probably. Uh, I've never. I mean, that that sounds so tech, like away mode. Uh, yeah, the, the, you're saying when it goes blank, the boss can see it's gone blank. It, that nobody's working on it. Right. There hasn't been movement for X yeah, number. Of right. Minutes. And so they can see that. Well, now there is movement on it because of this mouse mover thing. Yeah. I, do you? Th but I mean, I would think that you're allowed to go to the bathroom. Like, yeah. I mean, you're, aren't you allowed to log off and say I'm five minutes, I'm going? I mean, you can go to the bathroom at work. Yeah, and you get a 30-minute, if you get 30 minutes for lunch, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, this sounds, frankly, like it's being invented for somebody who doesn't want to do the work. Yeah, like, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you are, I mean, who, yeah. what kind of boss is you can't have 30 minutes to go to your refrigerator or get some lunch, yeah. you know? The, um, the other day, we had some new internet installed at our house, and a really nice fiber optic line. Just to let you know, we're running on a much higher speed now at our house. But the guy who installed it said, I'm going to take a step away for lunch. And I said, do you want some water or anything? And he said, no, I have everything I need in my truck. So he just sat in his truck in our driveway and had his lunch. And I thought, that's living. That's what I like to do. I was going to say, dream. that's, that's, that's my your dream. thing. Yeah. That's my dream. That's my thing. Exactly. And so I offered, but he said no sir i'm not that allowed was really kind of nice of you to offer him what the people used to offer guys on chain gangs in the 1930s water it was like a cup of water i said some <laughs> look some tepid water out of my faucet i wasn't let's not, go not the good stuff not the bottled yeah, uh, the hose hasn't frozen up outside yet <laughs> <laughs> let me spray that at you last week was it um has your son running cods all day long now with the new speeds oh my god he loves it there's no lag so he can run cod anytime <laughs> he wants he that's loves it. That's it. a new slang we learned. When he's running COD, that means playing a game of Call of Duty. And so he and his cousins on Thanksgiving were up running some COD. <laughs> I mentioned this the other day. And they left their nasty plates with cranberry sauce and turkey yeah. and gravy stuck to it. And it took a week to bring it down. And he said, here are the plates. And my wife just almost exploded with rage. <laughs> and I said, how? I said, why were you even with the plates in your room on Thanksgiving? He said, we're running some cod. Come on, bro. <laughs> Get with it. Playing Call of Duty. <laughs> That's the new vernacular. Does right? any other game lend itself to that kind of wacky acronym? I don't, I don't know. know what I the don't... big games are. No. Uh, yeah, you, like Madden is just Madden. Madden, there's Halo, which is just Halo. Yep. Mm -hmm. But when you're running cod. That's yeah. how it's done. And when he got home yesterday to find that the internet was indeed faster, he just, oh, he couldn't believe Thank it. Thank you. He said, it's raps. It is raps. I'm running cod. Right. I, it is raps means it's decided. Okay. I, I'm going up. I'm running some cod. <laughs> I don't understand. No, no, no one does. No one does. How could you? How could anyone understand that? And if you think too hard on it, your brain will explode. I know. Yeah. I'm and uh, I'm excited about it. You know, it made our television, you know, because we run it through the internet, basically. We have that YouTube TV. And it made it It made it sharper, clearer. And it, and. You, you can actually see the lines on Lisa Welchel's face now when you tune in. <laughs> I'll tell you, I was watching Friends oh, yesterday. she's been plumped and filled. <laughs> I could see it better. I was watching Friends. I said, my God, I could see their nipples <laughs> on Friends. The old episodes of Friends. I don't can know. Can you leave me alone for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> this changed my life. I mean, really, it got fa it got sharper and uh, the image is better. And I thought, my God, they are showing their nipples like crazy. And my wife said, they always did that. You just never, you yeah, know. Was just, <laughs> HD wasn't the same, or there was no HD. Now it's just unbelievable. They, was it last week we were talking about some entity named, oh, New York Times named their top ten shows of the year. And yes. we, we only knew two of them. Biggie and I watched two. We'd never heard yeah. of the others. Now it's uh, Rolling Stone Magazine has released their top ten shows of the year. I've heard of three. I watched two. Same with you, Biggie. Succession and White Lotus. Okay. Oh. Numbers, Made both lists. Yep. Number seven and nine, both HBO. Both excellent shows. Great shows. I'm a fan. The only other one I've heard of is from Hulu, and it's Only Murders in the Building, which is Steve oh, Martin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just can't. I'm, I'm like three episodes in, mm -hmm. and I just can't get into it. My wife says the same. I, I've tried. I want to like it because I like everyone involved. Yep. But it's just not pulling me in. She says it's okay, and, you know, it's a pleasant diversion, but doesn't call her back week after no. week. And, but it's number three on their list. Their best show for the year is on Apple TV+. Plus. It's called For All Mankind, which I've not heard. I've passed by that a million times. Again, I, I, don't, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to appeal to me. Another one. Literally never heard of it. 
Yeah, I was the same. Uh, the Underground Railroad is on Amazon. I, that's number four. I think that uh, New York Times had it on theirs, too. They but did. I don't know these shows. I mean, there's so many shows now, you just have no idea. Do you know Kristen Bell, who earlier this year, as we do our look back at the year, uh, a low point, a controversial moment was when Kristen suggested that Kristen Bell didn't do her singing. <laughs> In the show, the movie Frozen. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> of all the things to come at someone about, well, they attacked that was him. the most unexpected. They attacked him over that. She, and, and endlessly. Oh, endlessly. Yeah. She does do her own. It's been proven. She does her own singing. Well, Kristen Bell is starring in a new show called The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window. And some analysts are saying, this title is too long. You shouldn't have a title that long. They need apostrophes. <laughs> Ask different they strokes. Do, they, they do. It is going to be premiering on January the 28th on Netflix. And it's called The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window. And it sounds like one of those Wayans Brothers parody titles. It is a parody. Well... It's sort of a parody of a Hallmark Channel thriller. So that's how mm -hmm. they're doing it. A little bit of humor, but there's also like a murder mystery involved, too. Yeah. It does. It does sound like exactly like a parody.